am Hilary Kerrigan, and today we have the pleasure of being in the studio with Bill Mutimer. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Hilary. Great. Thank you. You are the chair and, no, you're the co-chair of the... Theater program oh my here goodness. at NCC. Excellent. So we're going to talk acting today. Excellent. My favorite topic. Well, great. How long have you been acting? I have been acting since I was seven, oh so gosh. that would be a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been with NCC? I've been with NCC for five years. I was here for an adjunct for a year and then four years as a professor. Oh my gosh, excellent. Do you also do shows? I or? do. Um, I direct shows here and okay. then I perform and direct outside, but here we do four shows a year, so it's two a semester. I direct one of them and then we bring in an outside director. Oh my gosh, that's cool. You bring in outside directors, do you do that often? Yes, uh, once a semester. So uh, last semester we had jo George Miller from Theater Outlet, and this semester we have uh, Joanne Wilczek Bassist, who works with Civic Theater and with the uh, Charter School. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So, let's talk about the acting program here. Okay. Is it two years? Two year program, okay. and you can either go on to a, a four year school and transfer in as a junior, or you can go out into the real world, depending on what suits you best. If going to school suited me best. <laughs> okay. What schools do you guys normally work with? Well, we have a transfer agreement now with the sales where you can go right in as a junior once you graduate from our program. By the end of this year, we'll have Muhlenberg signed on, and oh, then we're nice. looking at uh, Lehigh as well. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, do you have kids who normally go right into real world just after two years? Yes. We actually have one working in New York right now and two <laughs> working in Philadelphia. Oh, my gosh. That's kind of awesome. Do do kids like get jobs during, while, like in their time here? Do they get calls or? We've had people that um, that have gone out, not necessarily for professional jobs, because um, there's not a lot of professional work in the area mm -hmm. right now, but um, getting working at like the Pennsylvania Playhouse or Civic Theater Valentine, where they go out and work with other directors and see what it's like, um, and see if they can put what they use in class into real practice. That's awesome. So do you kind of encourage that? Um, I do, because I think it's important to work with as many people as you can um, mm -hmm. to get because it is a subjective, not an objective field, that you know the more opinions and the more people you work with, the more chances you have of encountering different types and different styles. Cool. Uh, do you guys do anything in the summer? No, we don't do anything in the summer because Horizons for Youth actually takes over the building for the theater. <laughs> I didn't know the, that. The summer camp. But yeah. I actually work outside. So I work at Mule I've been working at Muhlenberg the past eight years, but I've worked all over the East Coast cool. um, working. What shows are going on right now at school? Right now, we open House of Bernarda Alba tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, with Garcia Lorca, <laughs> oh which is gosh. by Garcia Lorca, okay. um, which is about a mother and her five daughters, and the husband has passed, and it's how um, greed and avarice take over a family when it comes to who's going to get what money, mm. and then that runs from the 6th through the 13th, uh, through the 11th, excuse me, okay. April 10th through the 13th, we're doing Macbeth. So. Who's doing Macbeth? I'm, I'm actually directing Macbeth. I knew it. I had to say it. <laughs> uh, that's good. I'm glad you did. Um, and it's a post-apocalyptic version of it. So what's okay. really cool about that is that we're taking the Mad Max Road Warrior and putting it into um, Macbeth. It's going to be crazy. It is going to be great. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, let's talk more about um, somebody who is interested in acting, has never tried it or done it. Like, is it, is it kind of like this high school experience where it's kind of catty, it's clicky, or is this something easy to get into, like... Like a speech class is easy to ease your way into public speaking and things like that. It's a great, it's a great way to ease your way in. If you want to ease your way in, um, acting one is a great class because mm -hmm. it's open to. Well, all of our classes are open, um, but it's a great chance to just learn how to honestly communicate with people. To just sit in front of someone and be no more or no less than you really are, and create a character from that. Um, and then, or if you want more of a book learning class, Intro to Theater would be a better class because it teaches you the jobs of the theater as well as the history of the theater and you can kind of see where you fit into all of that. Interesting. Would you suggest that everyone take an acting course in their life? I think everybody should take everybody. acting because we act all the time. <laughs> How many times have we all sat at, you know, <coughs> I'm not feeling well so I'm not coming in today. You know, or yeah, somebody yeah, asks you yeah. something and you're like, oh no. That's, I'm fine. That's not, it's I'm fine. fine. Exactly. It's great. You look wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's a, see, you're an actor already. Oh, thanks, thanks. It's just rubbing off on me a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> well, what can you say to somebody who is actually very serious about this career and they want it? Like, do you guys, do you have counseling for these kids who are serious about this, um, taking jobs or looking to go to L.A., like you said? Exactly. We have a lot of different ways of going about it. We actually offer a class called Theater Portfolio, oh, which is what that. am I going to do when I graduate? So the Theater Portfolio class shows you opportunities in colleges if you want to go on to an, get a four-year degree and yeah. to increase your knowledge and your working skills. Or you can go right into an internship, which like I said, we have some with Philadelphia and some in New York. But you could also go to Chicago and L.A. if those are um, places you would like to go. 
Um, and then the other thing we have is, is career advice on should I take these jobs, you know, and you can actually mm. talk to me specifically or to Jay, who's the co-chair with me, and we can talk to you about different experiences and, and help guide you through a path so you don't get caught in one of those traps that are out there where they're saying, here, give us $800 and we'll teach you to oh be an gosh. actor. Um, you know, you don't really need to go down that path. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you guys have that because that's the story of a lot of kids I know. You know, I work a restaurant job, so it's like you know, what I mean, we have these eager kids who are like, I got a call back, and you're you're willing to do anything, but sometimes it's not, it's not it's the not. best decision. Exactly. And 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 in general, if they ask you to pay them, it's probably not a good not job. Not a good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for this insight. It's awesome just to just to hear about this. I'm not in. I'm not into acting, but I mean, I mean, I'm not an acting major. But the idea is great, so it's just so good to hear. It's so good to hear from you. Well, thank you, Hillary, and thank you for having me come on. I love talking to you, oh, and you are an actress. Thanks. <laughs> well, if you want to see his show, Macbeth, it's April 10th to the 13th. Exactly. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you.